In this video I'm going to show you how to access the hybrid battery in a Gen 2 Prius, so that's years 2004 to 2009. This exact one is 2007 but the principle will be the same on all Gen 2 Priuses. You may wish to replace your hybrid battery, replace a cell in there, or even access the blower motor which is responsible for cooling your hybrid battery. So follow along and let's get it open. For this job it will be relatively quick to actually get access, you'll need some basic sockets, pretty much a 10mm will do, a little socket extension here, a socket wrench, and a little tool to undo some of those plugs, so either something like this, or something a little bit better, like this, so not much involved at all. First thing we're going to do is push the rear seats down, there's a little button on top here for this one, and a little button on top for this one, just push it down, then the whole seat will fold down. Next we're going to remove this panel here, it's just a case of turning these to the unlock position, so just turn them 9 to 3 o'clock, both of them, and then you can just use this to remove and pull it out of the way. Underneath there we have access to our tools and things like that, if you need towing or you need to change a tyre or anything like that, that pretty much just pulls out very easy. So now we can see where our spare wheel is located here, the hybrid battery is this long silver piece right here, and the blower motor responsible for cooling lives in this area right here. Next we're going to remove this front cover here, it's just the case of grabbing it on the end and just giving it a firm pull, just like that, work your way along. You shouldn't be able to snap it, the toggles on here are pretty strong. If you've ever wondered how to open your trunk if you have a dead battery for example, a uh, little tip here, just pull this silver thing here towards you and the trunk will open. If you're going to work on the hybrid battery or near the hybrid battery it's best to remove the service plug which is this orange plug right here. The orange service plug here is designed to remove the hybrid battery from the rest of the system so it's isolated. If you're working on the battery itself, remove this plug and wait 5 minutes before servicing it. If your car gets into an accident, first responders usually remove this plug, or at least they should, to prevent any unsafe things like fires or electric shocks. So to remove the service plug we just come over here, lift up, so grab a finger here, lift upwards, pull downwards like so and then pull to the left and that will remove the service plug so it's going to be a lot safer to work near and on and this is what it looks like next we're going to remove these 10 millimeter bolts here for the tie downs one here and one right there now the bolts are removed, we can just pull this up and out of the way. There's a couple toggles underneath here that will probably break unless you get quite lucky. These are easily replaceable at any hardware store or auto vehicle store. I'm just going to push that up and out of the way. So now we can see our hybrid battery a lot better. So to remove this panel completely from the vehicle itself and disconnect it from this side panel, which we will need to remove, we just need to remove a little panel clip down here. So just remove the Velcro here, you can see the panel clip right there, and we're just going to use our panel clip pliers to remove that. And that's these here. And the same goes for the other side also. So now we can set that aside, we have even more access to our hybrid battery here. Now to get these side panels off. The first thing we're going to do is remove this tire down 10mm bolt right here and a Phillips head on this black one right here and also another 10mm down there. So with those three removes we can pop this panel off. There's a couple toggles behind here so just sort of grab this there's not really a, an approved method to do it, but just grab it and just firmly pull it out and that should pull the toggles out from here. You might need to remove the battery cover just so it runs a bit more free. So something like this. There we go. Some manuals have you remove this piece here with the fan in there, but it, there's really no need. This section will just pull out from behind it with no problems at all. That being said, if you do want to remove this panel here, it's not really held on by anything, just a couple of clips. So now we have access to the blower motor here, which is this sort of white piece right here, and that's just responsible for cooling the hybrid battery. It runs along this channel here and provides adequate cooling. If this starts overheating, this is one of the first things you should look at. It might be clogged up with lint, dust, debris, anything like that. So while we're in, it's a really good time to service this if you're not doing that already. 
So to check the blower motor, it's very simple to get this duct work off here. If you look down here, this little uh, toggle there, just press the center in with something like a Phillips head, just straight through there, and that will release the toggle there. There's another one right up here, and another one over here. And that will remove the duct work right there. So removing this out of the way, you might just need to push up on this bit here, but it'll slip right out, no problem. We can ex inspect the uh, blower motor there. You can see it's quite clogged up with dust and debris. So it's a really good opportunity to take this out and, you know, blow it out with compressed air or anything you can. And to remove that, very simple, three 10 millimeter bolts, one here, one up here, and one just down there. Now the bolts are removed, just press down on this electrical connector up here, so just the middle part here, and remove that. With the blower motor loose, just remove this small harness in the back here. And then you have access to the blower motor right here. You can see there's a small little insect in there, and whatever else we might find, so it's a good job of doing this today. So here, um, we can just disconnect this uh, cable harness sort of adapter here, but just by pinching that in with some pliers and that will slot right out. And as far as this concern, you just remove that clip there. It's just being supported. It's not actually connected to anything. And that will free the whole blower motor assembly from the car itself. So I've just shaken that. You can see I've got all this by just shaking it out. If you need a new one for whatever reason, there's the model and part number and all things like that. If you want to service it even more, you know, really get in there and blow it all out. It's just the case of removing all these Phillips head screws on the outside here. So all those connecting the sort of white plastic together and then the whole bottom will pop off and you can remove this uh, hamster wheel here and give it a good clean out so that is up to you if that's what you're here for let's get back on with the uh, task at hand next we're going to remove this left panel here it's pretty much the opposite as the uh, passenger size so just this tie down here 10 millimeter the Phillips head but it's also a 10 millimeter there and also one right down there just as before so same as before, we're just going to remove this little bucket out the way here, pull on the side right here, and just remove it from the vehicle the best way you can. I will mention one thing, on this side here we have a little light here, an interior light. It's just a case of poking it from behind once you get a little bit of clearance. Then you can feed it back through the hole or disconnect it at the harness, it's really up to you. We just need to get that out of the way and then we can remove it a lot easier. So now this whole panel has been removed, this one's been removed, we can now pretty much access the whole hybrid battery. Some of the bolts down the back are hard to get down um, through this gap right here, so it might be easier to remove these 14 millimeter bolts here. There's one there, two here, and also one there, and that way all the back seats can just be pushed out of the way, then you can access these bolts a lot easier down the back of the hybrid battery. So now these 14 millimeter bolts have been removed on the back seats. It's just a case of pushing the seat down and pushing it forward. And you can see this is where it sat before. And now we have a lot more room to undo any bolts you need to remove this hybrid battery completely on the back end here. Next we're going to remove this ductwork right here. And that just covers this panel here which we'll need access to to remove. So it's just a case of removing two clips here, one here and one here with our special pliers. And with a little wiggle that should come right out, just like so, you can push that out of the way. So we're getting down to it now, we're going to remove these brackets off each side of the hybrid battery. So there's one on the driver's side, one on the passenger side, there's seven bolts, they're pretty much mirrored on each side. So one here, that's three, four, and over here, five, six, seven. And exactly the same on the driver's side here, they're pretty much in the same order, so three this side, two here, and one over here. So they're all 12 millimeter bolts. We're gonna remove every single one and remove these panels. So with all 14 bolts removed, these side panels here should come right up and out the way. Same on the driver's side. And you should have something like that. Now let's finish removing this battery. Coming over on the passenger side here, we're just gonna remove this vent tube. 
Uh, there's just a little toggle there you can just pull out with your special tool there to remove that and you can really just budge this out of the way then but if you really want to remove it all there's also a 10 millimeter bolt here then you can pretty much just pull the whole ductwork assembly out on the same side there's also like a vent tube here you can just pull that out very easy and we're pretty much free on the passenger side now back on the driver's side here we're just going to remove this panel here which is hard to see because of the sun now. One here, all 10 millimeter, another one there, another one here, one right here, and on the front here, one just there. Remove all of those bolts. So now all those bolts have been removed, we can remove this end cover here. And the point of that being, it was so we can disconnect the uh, power cable, the main power cable to the hybrid battery which supplies the car with uh, all the power and whatnot and the recharging abilities too. So to remove this, this is uh, two 8mm nuts right here. You may need a deep socket just because the threads are quite long there, but we're just going to remove those two nuts from those terminals. So now the nuts have been removed, we're going to push these terminals up and out of the way just so we can move the hybrid battery out of the vehicle so just push them out of the way coming along the front here I don't know if you can see very well the Sun isn't my friend today we're just going to remove three electrical harnesses one into the computer here one right here and also one here so it's just a case of squeezing the end and pulling them out it's very easy there's three in total and the very last thing we're going to do is remove five 12 millimeter bolts. This will complete the removal of the hybrid battery. There's two on the front, one in each corner here. And on the back here, there are three. One right there, one in the middle, and one on the end. So let's remove all of those bolts. So that completes the disassembly, there's five bolts there. It's quite heavy to remove, so be careful. Make sure all the connectors are pushed out the way before you sort of drag slash lift it out. You don't want to break any of them off. I'm just going to remove it from the vehicle. So here it is, the hybrid battery. It's around 100, 120 pounds by feel in weight. So, you know, a good 50, 55 kilos, it's a big boy. So yeah, that is it. That is how to remove it from the vehicle. Maybe I'll do a video on replacing the cells inside and things like that. So whatever you want to do with this from now is up to you. But that is how to remove it. I hope the video was useful to you. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Please support the channel by liking and subscribing. All the parts I used, I'll list them in the description below so you can check those out.